All right, this is it, the one we've all been waiting for. Tonight's main event, Josh Diekman, Josh Heavy Hendricks. Diekman in the black trunks with the red trim. Josh Hendricks in the camouflage trunks. Round number one of three. Put the women and children to bed. The big boys are here. Here we go. One of the first things that Josh Deakman said about Hendricks, he's big. That was his official or his initial thought at the weigh-in. We'll see. Oh, that was needing the grind. Oh, that's a that tough one. That was bad. That was a hard one. That was, that was dead on. It lifted Josh off the ground. And he's on his back. Yeah, that went to the tailbone. Yeah. <laughs> that's the last guy you want to get needed in the groin from, coming in at 255, so we're going to have a momentary I break I hate to there. Joe Rogan this right now, but I would love to see a replay of that, please. <laughs> so Deakman will get five minutes if he needs it to recover from this, and he may very well need it. Obviously an inverted, no harm no, I intended. No, I don't think he intended to hit him in the groin, but oh, man. And we're going to check it out, unfortunately, much to uh, the wishes of Scott Ream. And... Bink! Oh, is. that's just bad. I think the whole crowd felt that one. and that <laughs> Even the women. It looked like he even missed a cup <laughs> on that. Deakman really feeling he's it. Hurt. And, he's hurt. Yeah. He's, you look at his eyes, and he's hurt, and this takes so much out of you. It's like getting electrocuted. I wouldn't know the feeling, and hopefully I never will. I can only imagine what Deakman's feeling right now. He's got, like we said, five minutes to... To be honest, I hope Josh recuperate. takes as much time as he needs. Exactly. Get his breathing back. Get his get his uh, equipment in order. No reason to rush it whatsoever if you're given the five minutes. You know, you don't want to sit there any longer than you have to, but that was off the ground. That was a hard knee by a big dude. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's all I have to say about Josh that. Josh can't even sit right now. You just... And yeah, and you guys know how that is. Man. You feel it, you feel it, then you really feel it. <laughs> and you, you can see Wait Josh is trying it. to put his cup back. <laughs> you know, he's trying to put his cup back in place. And Bill Carpenter explaining the rules to the crowd. And again, when I see this one more time, I, oh, oh, that is so clean. <laughs> It's more painful each time you see that replay. I flinched both times. I didn't flinch. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> something else. <laughs> Better man than I am, sir. Yeah, I'm nah. doubled over right now. Well, there's Deakman. Josh. He's back up, and he, you know, he's getting focused. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a good idea for Josh even just to walk around, take yeah. a lap around the ring, stretch out a little bit. Looks like we're gonna get ready and get back to this, and you know, congratulate. Just a pat in the back to Josh Deakman. You have five minutes, he get up. You can see he needed some time. He, you know, he's ready to rock. Well, we will get the second start of this bout. We should say the uh, official beginning. We're only 17 seconds in. Don't think that he's 100% recovered right now because he absolutely isn't. Uh-uh, by no means. That was a hard knee. Yeah. That was a direct shot. Sold out crowd here at the Twin River Event Center waiting for this one to get underway a second time. Only thing I really like about this is that it's it's giving both fighters to kind of like settle down. Now I think it'll be more like a sparring match instead of an actual fight. I think things have settled yeah, down. Yeah, the, the initial adrenaline dump could be gone right now. Here we go, action uh, has resumed. Josh is pissed. Good sprawl by Josh. Hendricks with a quick takedown. Josh doing a good job of getting his knee back inside. Yep. Josh doing a good job listening to Jorge, <laughs> cornering from the side. He's got to get that right arm on the hook. Good nice elbow. elbow. Jorge's giving him great advice here, and Josh is following it. I'd like to see a little head control. There he goes. Nice job good recovering, guys. Switch of the hips. Man, these big guys can move nowadays. I was just going to say they're incredibly nimble despite their size. I mean, they're really scrambling. You see Deakman doing a nice job on his back, scrambling and getting out of position, making it difficult for Hendricks. And now Josh is, you know, he's, he's got the back of his head while throwing short elbows, controlling his posture, making him pay inside, and just not letting, uh, just not letting him set up right now. It's a tough one. Both guys' first name is Josh. <laughs> 
<laughs> and they're both big and they both have tattoos. <laughs> Where do we go? Doing a good job. Yeah, I mean, Josh, nice job passing right there, Josh. Taking it back. Now back. Josh could be in trouble right now. He rolled well. I, I, I'd like to see him start working that shoulder out. He's only got the one arm on, but he's now he's flattened bad. out. Now Diekman needs to turn over if he can do it. Josh doing a really good job right now. I'd rather be him out right. Uh, he well, comes that, that arm, arm triangle. triangle. Yeah. I don't know if he can get it from Mount. I don't know if he can get the right leverage he needs from Mount. Well, if he steps off and sits through uh, to the right side. That's that'll be tough. He tap. That is it. This main event is over. Josh Hendricks with the impressive victory after a brief momentary stoppage. Hendricks got that takedown early, controlled the pace from there on out, and finishes off Josh Diekman. Well, that's a that's a tough uh, it's a tough submission to get out of once you get it in that deep, that arm triangle. It, 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 it's a lot of pressure to your carotid. Especially when it's a 255 pound UFC 250, veteran. Yes, <laughs> 255 pounds yesterday. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Josh, uh, Josh Hendricks rather improving to 19 and eight with the victory and uh, moving one step closer to getting back to where he wants to be. 35 years old, both fighters coming into this fight at the same age, uh, both looking to take that step forward. And tonight, Josh Hendricks certainly did that. And we'll see if this could get him back into the UFC discussion at some point in the heavyweight division. And we're going to see this finish coming up. We're going to show you how it all went down here in the main event. Well, you can see his, you know, his arm trapped in. He has a good grip on his, on his own bicep. And he added the shoulder pressure. Hendricks turned his shoulder just ever so slightly to the left to add a little extra pressure. And it's a little yeah. too much for Josh Diekman. Yeah, he did a very good job forcing Josh's chin back Show also. Surprisingly, we thought we might see a knockout in this fight, but we actually see a submission. A very good move in the end by Josh Hendricks to well, finish it off. Well, not knocking it, but you could see where Josh Deacon was ready to throw his hands. He was definitely squared away, and Josh Hendricks, for whatever the reason, felt that his game was going to work better off the clinch and the takedown, and he shot. I didn't. I don't remember seeing Josh Hendricks throw a jab. All right, we're going to send it down to Bill Carpenter to get the official time and the particulars on this bout. Josh Hendricks, your victor in the heavyweight main event. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time is two minutes, 20 seconds of the first round. Your winner by an arm triangle tap out, Josh Heavy Hendricks.